anyone else find this like such a satisfying thing to do? That makes me so much happier than it should. <laughs> Mm, so good. They spelled my name wrong. They spelled it with a K. Rude! Did you all remember to change your clocks last night? I did. I definitely missed that hour. I'm really tired today. Struggling. And I'm also having a day where I just keep staring at the computer screen and not typing anything and then being like, come on, you need to get some work done. You need to do it. And then I just stare at the computer screen for another five minutes. It's one of those Sundays. <laughs> My new look order has just arrived in store. I'm so excited. I want it to be lunchtime now so I can go and get it. Ah, uh, fingers crossed that it fits. And it's nice. I'm super early into work today because I needed to get some food. So I stayed at Daniel's last night and uh, our lunch cover's not very well. So I can't leave the shop today. Yay, nine hours inside the same four walls. I'm so excited for this. Not. But I thought I'd show you this. I've been obsessed with these for breakfast recently. I know you're not supposed to have like breakfast bars and stuff because they're not healthy. But these are so good. It's the um, Velveeta Breakfast Soft Bakes. I hate the hard ones. I think they're really dry and just... Nasty. They're not very nice, let's be honest. But mum found these ones, the soft bakes, and I kind of obsessed with them. They're so good. And they're perfect with like a cup of tea as well. So like if you're running late or something, they're really good to eat with a cup of tea. Even for like an 11s is, they're really good. So I thought I'd share them with you because I'm obsessed with them <laughs> right now. I just put one of the uh, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick samples that I got in that goodie bag. It says the um, colour inside. It's very Victoria. I really like it. Like, really like it. We really like it. I'm going to Ikea today and I'm very excited. I love Ikea so much. I'm going with my brother and his new housemate. We're going to go get loads of stuff for them and they want my opinion and I just want to go to Ikea so any excuse um, but before we go I'm actually going to look at another house basically some of my mum knows has decided that they want to rent their house out which is quite convenient it's come up at a very good time um, so we're going to go have a look at that house today and see if I like it if it's right everything like that it's like ideal location really I think I'm still going to prefer the original one we've already applied for but we're waiting two weeks to hear back from that and I can't just stop looking because of that. So we're going to go look at this one and see if it is nice or not or whatever. See if it ticks all the boxes and stuff. One box is ticked though. I can take the cat to it. So that's a big tick for me. Not so as much as, as important to Daniel, but to me quite important. <laughs> then once we have looked at the house, um, myself and Chris are going to Danny's and then they need to go to the estate agents to sign a few things before we go to Ikea, and then we're going to Ikea. Yay! Yeah. to carry it in. Yeah. I'll help. Good morning. I failed at vlogging yesterday because I just completely forgot about it, I'm not gonna lie. So you've got, you had a few clips from Ikea and then from Ikea, we decided to go to Lakeside. Um, just bear in mind that we were at Milton Keynes Ikea and it took us an, another hour and a half to get to Lakeside. So it was a long day yesterday. I'm absolutely pooped. We got home at about midnight and then obviously I was up at, well my alarm went off at half six and I was like, um, 
no and snoozed it for like half an hour and i'm exhausted today like so tired and i have to go to work <laughs> i don't want to go to work don't make me go to work hi that was possibly the like quickest day at work i've like had in such a long time it's ridiculous but i've got home but changed and now i'm going to get danny and we're going to go well, he's going to show me the house because Chris is in London today and he is going to be a little bit late home, which is fine. But there's lots of Ikea stuff to build and so on. So I'm going to go now pick Danny up and then go to the house because I don't know where it is. I just heard something. Is there a kitty that wants to come in? Come in? Hi. No, both kitties are in. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go there now. Okay, so the house tour didn't happen because I built dining table and chairs. I was very proud of myself, I'm not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, I had help, but still, I helped, I helped. Um, I'm so tired today. Again, got back really, really late and I slept really badly last night. Like I just couldn't fall asleep. I couldn't get comfortable, it was very annoying. Um, so I was awake before my alarm this morning, which let's be honest, people, it's probably one of the most annoying things in history. Two days left before my week off. Very excited. I'm excited for Sassy because I've got an event with the Cam bloggers. Um, we have an event with Campkins in Cambridge with Olympus Pen, which is so exciting. I think they're giving us all like an Olympus Pen um, to go around Cambridge and take photos and things like that. So I need to plan an outfit for that, really. I had planned an outfit, but I needed to buy something and I didn't really want to buy anything. But I really want to wear my Topshop boots, like the really funky ones that no one seems to like apart from me. <laughs> but I absolutely love them. And I wanted to get like a little denim, like oversized A-line dress. Does that make any sense? I'm sure it does. And then wear it with those. But the only ones I could find were £35 and I just didn't really want to spend £35 on it. Sorry. I haven't got one so I need to plan a different outfit. But... Good Friday morning to you. It's my last day at work for a week off. I'm so excited for my week off, you cannot understand. I'm exhausted. I feel like I haven't stopped this week and I feel like I haven't vlogged anything because I've been so busy. And yeah, I still haven't, haven't I still haven't tried on those two jumpsuits that I got, so I need to do that tonight because I need to know if they fit. Um, so I can like, one of them's in the sale, so I need to know if I need to take that one back, blah, blah, blah. I need to know if I need to get new shoes for them. Yep, I still need to watch Broadchurch and also the new series of Ghost Adventures started so I need to watch the first episode of that. That was last Saturday and obviously Broadchurch was on Monday so I need to watch that and and I need to start editing the vlog tonight because I have a, an event tomorrow during the day and I don't, I don't know if I'm going out tomorrow night. I feel like that was a plan but I don't know if it's been set in stone yet so I might not even be able to edit the vlog tomorrow night like at all which would mean that it will go up late on Sunday. I'm really sorry if this vlog went up late, but life gets in the way sometimes. It just does. I'm kind of hoping that Zoe wants a Starbucks this morning because I kind of fancy a frappe or a peach green tea. Mmm, peach green tea. Yum. Yummy. Wow, I look a state. <laughs> I've been running around at my lunch trying to find a dress for the event tomorrow because you know when you get an outfit in your head that you really want to wear, but there's like a main component that you don't own? Yeah, that. I really wanted like a little denim dress to wear with my Topshop boots, if you remember those, like the really, like the embroidered ones. I want to wear those. So I found a dress. I'm not 100% on it. I need to try it with the outfit to see what I think. And if it doesn't work, then I'm going to have to rethink my whole outfit. But hopefully it will be okay. I'll try and show you later if it, if like it works and stuff, but yeah. Uh, so now I'm just making some toast. I'm just eating some lunch. I haven't had an appetite really for the last two days. I've got a red nose, rosy nose. Um, don't really know why. I've just felt a bit. I don't know. Just not hungry. Um, you know when you think you're hungry, but then you go to eat something, and you just like I don't want this. I've been feeling like that for the last two days. So I'm just gonna have some toast today because I can't. Miss Yesterday I didn't eat lunch. All I ate was dinner. That was a nice view. Um, all I ate was dinner. Um, so I can't do that two days in a row. I need to put some powder on my nose. I feel like a mouse. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to eat some toast now and then. But I hope you are all having a good Friday. I've got the Friday feeling. Yes, week off. Thank you very much. Okay, so I know the lighting is not great, but this is the dress that I got. 
oh, you can't even see, like it's dark denim. Hold on, let me go into the bathroom. Here is his scat bar. Hi, little one. So this is the top of it. The only thing is the zip at the back is going to really annoy me, I think. Because it like buckles. And it's already bugging me a little bit. Also, I hate, hate to the top of my arms, so I need to find either a top two underneath it. Do you want a drink? Is that what you're doing? Anyway, um, yeah, I need to find a top to either go underneath it to cover top of my arms because I just hate them. I don't feel comfortable with them at all. Um, yeah, and I tried them on my top shirt boots. It looks really good. Like, the den dark denim works with it. But I just don't know whether to keep it or not. I kind of want to because it is really nice. But I just don't know if I'm, I'm going to wear it because I think the zip is going to annoy me. The way it, like... Buckle, I don't know. I don't know, I'll try some more stuff out. I don't know what that was. Okay, the dress is going back. I'm not happy with it. And both the jumpsuits that I ordered are going back too. They don't fit. I like, I couldn't show you them. <laughs> I just couldn't show you them. They don't fit. Um, so yeah, unsuccessful night tonight. But I did paint my nails red. So, silver lining? I don't know. I like having red nails. This kind of cheers me up. Also, I'm so excited because... Pippa texts me and we're going for cocktails tomorrow after the event or in the evening. And then on Sunday, we're going to the trampoline place in St. Neots. I am so excited, it's unreal. I've wanted to go there for ages. I probably will suffer for it on Monday, but 100% worth it. I'm so excited. Mm, so excited. Um, I'm gonna take my makeup off and I'm gonna go to bed because I'm very tired. And message and the outfit that I was going to wear tomorrow, obviously, now I'm not wearing, so... Yeah, I'm just going to run around in the morning like I normally do, all crazy and not knowing what to wear and stuff like that, so... It usually works out fine. But yes, time to sleep. And I'll speak to you tomorrow. Hopefully, tomorrow will be, like, the best day of the vlog, because this vlog has been kind of rubbish. I'm sorry. It's been a bit crazy this week. I haven't really stopped, like I said earlier. But, yeah, with the event and everything tomorrow, I'm hoping... It will be like a good day. I'm excited. It's been one of those mornings where I've been running around like a headless chicken trying to get stuff done because there's always things that I forget. Like I think I'm being really organised the day before. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, the day before and then I wake up and I'm like, oh crap, I haven't done this, I haven't done this. So yeah. Um, also <laughs> completely changed my outfit plan and I'm just going completely casual. So I've got my jeans, my converse and my slouchy top because... I am not going to be taking pictures of myself today, I don't think. Um, I'm just going to be taking some pretty pictures of Cambridge because I'm just not in the mood to be like, yes, point a camera at me and take pictures. I'm not in that mood today. Which is a great mood to be in when you're going to a camera event, but yeah, I'll just be cameraman for all the other girls. Because I like taking pictures, but I don't want any pictures of myself today. Um, so yeah, so I need to go. I am going to curl my hair, I think, but I'm going to do it once I'm at Pippa's because I'm running a little bit late, so I need to go to hers now. Yeah, we're going to go into town early to go and do some um, editing. And well, I'm going to edit the vlog, start editing the vlog, and she is going to do some blog posts, I think, to get some stuff organised. And then we're going to go to the event, and I will take you along with me for the whole day. Watching the master at work. <laughs> um, um, no, it's only kids' school holidays. Like, it's not like university school holidays, yeah. is it? She's so beautiful.
basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically be today a buddy for you so that you can get to play with the cameras. Uh, we're going to have a little walk around. Thankfully the sun is out, which I was yes. a bit worried about. But we're going to go almost do a little loop and we're going to kind of go past some iconic bits of Cambridge where you can hopefully take pictures of each other, take pictures of some nice sort of attractive detail, things like that. Get to know the camera, instantly get kind of get the images from your camera to your phone so you can tweet, you can blog and you can do all those sort of things on the move. So you don't have to worry about getting back to your map or anything else like that to do these sort of things. And then you're getting really good quality pictures but instantly as well. Okay? So what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take a couple of things with me so that I can almost sort of help you out in terms of um, your own personal photography as well. So some of you will know more about photography than others in general. We're going to take a reflector with us today. This is going to show you how small things can make your portraits look better. So if you take your pictures of yourself and your friends, um, how these kind of things can just help you out. They do come in smaller sizes. You can get a little tiny one that just pops up to about this big uh, and you can pop it in your bag and it will really help you if you're on a day where it is overcast but you want to get really, really nice light. It's really great for skin if you're going to do portraits and things like that. So, uh, so we'll take that with you as well. The cameras, uh, they're all charged up and ready to go. Have you all brought yourself the memory cards? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, no, I forgot. I've got a spare one if you want to. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I can Sorry. get a spare one. I have forgotten. I'm not sure mine. how we'll work this. Yeah? yeah. Okay. And then I can't vlog. Two, three. I can vlog on that. Four? Oh, that's so true. Four? Yeah. In the memory cards? Yes, please. Right, no, I'll take one anyway because then I, I don't think that's going to work. A couple of other things you probably want to be aware of. On these ones, you've got electronic zooms. So the, the zoom works by twisting and holding. So twist one way and hold it, and you'll see that it zooms in and out. And twist the other way and hold it, and it will zoom the other way as well. Does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Okay. So effectively, quick tip: if you're going to be taking any of anybody portraits, any pictures of faces and things like that, or you want anything to look like it does in real life, them smaller, so you can get them sort of half the size of this, and, and they wrap up and they fold up to sort of bag size. Uh, the main thing we're going to take this is because sorry. Olympus do a nice one with a limited edition picture on the back. <laughs> <laughs> but what you'll notice as well is that if I put this under your face instantly, we're getting light under You're your so chin. You're so glowy! Like like <laughs> so this is all about reducing the shadows that you don't want, increasing the light that you've got available to you. Okay, so you can get smaller ones. They do also work very well for products. So if you've done any product photography, then you can use these to bounce light from windows back onto the other side of your product. Like, we'll talk about that. I feel like it's going to be like, oh, it's these can meet up girls again. Like, okay, so the last like two clips that I just filmed were on the Olympus pen. I am in love with this camera. Like, why am I not rich and can't afford it? But I've got but here it is. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited to use it. And like, it works with your phone and everything. And, um, I don't know if I managed to get a of what he was talking about, but yeah, it's a good Hold on! Hello! I seem to always pop up in your videos like, hello! I edited out that bit you know, the other day. You just dropped my camera. What is my handbag? Oh, no, you get it. where you live is, like, look at this. So pretty. So pretty. Action shot. Look at us. What, me? No clue. so I need to end the vlog because I'm obviously not going to do it later so thank you so much for watching the vlog sorry it was a little bit boring I hope the end was a bit more entertaining and like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz and I'll see you next week Pippa, do you want to say goodbye to the vlog? Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>